Hello, my name is Amber LaRock and I am a staff writer with Emergency Vets USA as well as a licensed veterinary technician. Our goal at Emergency Vets USA is to educate you on topics regarding your pet's health. So today we'll be discussing uh, IVDD or intervertebral disc disease in dogs and specifically when it may be time to euthanize your dog with IVDD. This is an incredibly painful condition that some dogs endure and it can lead to eventual paralysis in its most severe stage. So a lot of dog owners will be faced with a quality of life discussion and they may have to ponder when it may be time to say goodbye. So IVDD is a painful condition that refers to the deterioration of the discs that are present within the bones of the spine. The spinal cord is very fragile and therefore it relies on protection from the bones in the spinal vertebra as well as the discs in between the bones within the spine. Basically what these discs do is prevent the bones in the spine from touching each other so they act as a cushion and additional support for the spine allowing a dog to get through daily life, do what they need to do without any significant pain. But once a dog has IVDD, these discs will either begin to deteriorate or they will even begin to harden. So what this can do is cause these discs to rupture and bulge into the spinal cord space. When this happens, this is what people refer to as IVDD or even a slip disc and it is incredibly painful for dogs and it requires immediate medical intervention. So IVDD in dogs is categorized into five different stages, stage one through five. Stage one refers to the initial onset of the condition. The dog may be experiencing subtle signs of discomfort that their pet owners may notice, but stage five refers to the medical emergency that occurs when a dog is either in significant excruciating pain or they are experiencing limb paralysis. IVDD is categorized into five different stages, stage one through five, and you will notice different symptoms based on the current stage that your dog is experiencing. Some of the most common symptoms of IVDD in dogs include changes in their normal gait, appearing ataxic or unsteady on their feet, panting, trembling, or muscle tremors. They may have a hunched over stance. They may also appear guarded in their abdominal and their back region. They may hold their head in a lower position than usual, and then they may even begin to experience weakness of the limbs and eventual paralysis of the limbs. And you may see different symptoms based on the current stage that your dog is experiencing of IVDD, but no matter what, you should seek veterinary care as soon as you notice the first symptom because the best way to offer your dog a chance at a full recovery from IVDD is to intervene quickly uh, from the moment that you notice symptoms develop. Based on the current stage of IVDD that your dog is experiencing, there are a few different treatment options on the table. The first treatment option available is medical management, which involves the use of anti-inflammatory medications, muscle relaxants, and even steroids. The next treatment option on the list is strict exercise restriction, and this typically lasts anywhere from eight to 12 weeks. And the last available treatment option is spinal surgery. So this is of course referring to the dogs that are in the later stage of their condition. They may be experiencing limb weakness or potentially even limb paralysis. And this is typically correcting a disc that is bulging into the spinal cord space and therefore is causing significant pain. It is altering their ability to walk and uh, this is considered a serious medical emergency because when dogs are in this stage to where they are experiencing limb weakness or even paralysis, they have a very short window in which they can go to surgery and experience a full recovery and be able to gain normal function of their limbs again. So when a dog has severe IVDD, owners may need to consider euthanasia in a couple different situations. The first situation in which they may need to have a quality of life discussion is if their dog needs spinal surgery and their dog is unable to have spinal surgery for whatever reason, whether it is due to financial concerns of the surgery or if the dog is not a good candidate for surgery. So if the dog is unable to have spinal surgery and they are either in significant pain or they're experiencing limb paralysis, a lot of times owners may just take the route of euthanasia due to the fact that uh, they know that their dog will be paralyzed going forward and this would of course decrease their quality of life. Another situation in which some owners consider euthanasia is if they already explored every treatment option available to them but their dog still will not recover. So just know that if it is time to have this quality of life discussion with your veterinarian, this is a valid decision. It is probably in the best interest of your pet and you are saving them from a lot of discomfort going forward. For more information on IVDD in dogs and specifically when it may be time to say goodbye to a dog with IVDD, be sure to refer to the article that is attached to this video, but stay tuned to Emergency Vets USA for more topics on pet health.